Girls. We have one night from each table. That's all we got. Aloha, this is Laura Fox. I'm really excited to be here at the Raw Games at the very first ever Raw Vegan Prep Off. And me and Frankie Giglio here created and designed this event, and it's really going off well. It's a lot of fun. What do you, how does it feel, Frank, to, to be the, the father of this, this event here? I, I'm, I'm a very proud father. Um, <laughs> it's really nice to see everybody working together. Most of the groups um, are with each other for the first time, and it's good to see people really working together as community and that's like the whole theme of not only the, the raw food movement but in this event is just bringing people bringing strangers together and creating community so it's a beautiful thing to see them working together with beautiful vibrant food from Hawaii yeah and that's true so we do we do have some lush tropical fruits and some random ingredients and spices and were the teams put together here they're all Work together before, or just put together? No, um, there's a couple people. There's ten groups. There's maybe like three that chose each other beforehand. But for the most part, I just took the took the names off the list and said, "You're gonna work with this one and the other one," you know. So we just kind of went with the flow and matched people up, not knowing who they were and and whether they knew each other or not. Can you explain the whole event what they're doing? So basically, this is kind of a theme from like um, if you look. Iron Chef or another show that was called Ready, Set, Cook. And basically, um, you have 50 minutes um, to make a entree and a dessert, and you're giving a basket of food, not knowing what you're actually given, and you have to just be creative. And then there's kind of some random ingredients that are put on a table, and it's kind of a, a free-for-all on, on what ingredients you want to use. So yeah, just um, two, two dishes, sweet and savory and uh, go with the flow and see what you create with the ingredients given. And also, the, another fun thing about it is the appliances, because since we're a new event, the Raw Games is in its first year, we haven't got huge numbers of sponsors yet, but of course we feel we will next year and because of how popular and exciting this event is. And this year we did have one sponsor for the Raw Food Prep Off who gave the Vitamix. Vitamix company gave us a Vitamix to use. And the other fun part of this is that there's only like two blenders available. And so another thing that they're being judged on besides presentation and flavor and cleanliness is how, um, what, what was it? How they work together. How well they work operation. together. And so yes, how they're sharing, they're going to have to share this Vitamix, you know, amongst themselves. So we're watching to see who, who if everybody's getting agitated or nervous or grabbing or fussy with each other or if they're behaving politely together to share the equipment. <laughs> Just kind of fun. Yeah. So who are some of our other sponsors that gave us any ingredients here? Um, well, everything raw, of course. We have some of their things here. And Artisana, we have some coconut butter and tahini. Um, from, yeah, Artisana. I sponsored my Vitamix. Oh, uh, yes, drink my Vitamix. Um, who's the fruit guy? Well, uh, Aleutian is a, is a tropical fruit guy. You might want to talk to him in a little bit also. And we have a, a guest here who's watching who might want to comment on um, how this is going here today as an observer. Aloha, it's really busy here. Food is carrying around to the blenders and back and people trying to figure out what they will use and the judges are running around and taking a really skeptical look and it's really, yeah, I'm excited. And uh, it's fun to watch. What do you feel about the creativity of this event, Silky? Oh, it's very creative. Yeah, I like it. You get good ideas what you can do with food. And you were, you were mentioning earlier that um, you noticed something about each person's table and how... Yeah, it reminds me of the art class I was in and there was like, everybody's picture looks so different and we all focus on one thing, you know, like a picture about a stormy weather uh, and a house and a river and everybody has such a different picture and that what reminds me here every dish looks so different and but they all had the same ingredients to start with yeah, it's amazing so this is one of our judges and and he is busy observing the teams each team table has a number and he's got a sheet with the numbers and he's got four categories their cleanliness presentation loving kindness and taste and so in this while they're making it he's observing how well they're working together how well they're working sharing the appliances and then he'll be he'll, he's also observing you know how 
how good it's going to be presented, like the presentation and the creativity of the presentation, and then of course how, ta how good a taste will happen at the end. And so you'll see a number of judges. There's about five of them here, um, and we'll introduce you to them in a bit. JJ Jock here is the athletic director of the Raw Games, and this is not exactly athletics, <laughs> but it is a competition where it's 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 you know training for the mind, body, spirit, and taste buds. JJ, mm. what do you think of this event? Well, they say that food is touch, and touch is food, and it's good for the body, and it's the essential. And I love the fact that everybody's working together and making these yummy dishes. And what a great place to just show off. <laughs> you know, show off, and it's just, you know, it's just amazing. Everybody's coming together, and so beautiful to have, you know, you part of this, and you being who you are, and, and hosting this. So it's just perfect. Thank you, JJ. It's perfect, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Cheek has been very involved with the Raw Games. He's the, the chief of the table tennis and also the chief of the, the strength competition and overall just superhero, fun guy to work with, and we've been having a blast. So how do you like being a judge at this event, Robert? I, I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> it's um, because I'm friends with some people here, and, oh. I, and, I, and I, it's hard to ju judge them critically. And it's hard for me to do anything that's not positive. And so if I have to like mark for cleanliness, like mark down, I feel bad about that. So I'm not a very good judge. Um, uh, for me, everybody wins. It's got to be pretty clean cut. Well, maybe it's not a judge. Maybe you're a discerner. Uh, or you're, I, you're aware in the field. We have to change the word judge. Well, I'm observing and I'm learning. And I, if I walk out of the room and walk back in, the, just the, the aroma is mm. unbelievable. You don't, maybe don't notice it here because you're yeah. inside. I left for a moment, came back in, and it's like, whoa. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. I'll tell you the thing I do like the best. <laughs> okay. The thing I like the most about this is that everybody has something completely different. People making their own star shape food, uh, plate, their own heart shape, like just using the fingers to make it. I thought everyone had like a little uh, a cookie cutter, <laughs> but they don't. They're making it themselves. That's cool. And to see some things really tall, like layered, and a like, tomato that's cut into like eight pieces exploding out. Whoa. Yeah, a lot of unique stuff. That's what I like. Uh -huh. Being a judge is tough. If you see, I haven't scored a whole lot, but I'm working on it. <laughs> right I've got on, 12 Jeff. minutes. Right, we'll get back there. All right. Go on. I got to go. I, but I do appreciate the Chief of Table Tennis. I appreciate that name. <laughs> Chief of Strength. <laughs> I'll, ta I'll take that. So this is Candle, and he is the director of the film that, you know, you're watching. And so, Candle, I'd love to know what you think of this particular event. What is special about this event to you as a filmmaker? This is an event because it's like a 10 ring circus. It's happening in 10 different venues, 10 different people. And the beauty of the food is what's really special. And we're videoing the colors and the sensuality of the food. And some of the presenters who are making the food were in the triathlon this morning. And so they're like out there physical and out they're making the food and they're eating the raw food and, the, and into the, the physi physical of it. 12 minutes. Awesome. This is Tim Casey. He's one of the chefs at the Tree of Life, uh, which is a beautiful place in Arizona that's a raw foods retreat center headed up by Gabriel Cousins. And Michaela is here as well. And they're both judges for the raw food prep off as well as, you know, the chefs in our raw games kitchen and they've been making the most delicious okay. food so these guys are really qualified raw vegan judges for this event how do you like being in this event this is this is totally awesome there's a, a lot of good vibrations happening right now and we're about actually a half an hour into the event uh, of the the raw prep off and there's a lot of beautification coming through right now so just kind of walking around a bit and just looking at the plates that are coming through it's uh, the the beauty is really starting to shine right now so yeah, it's uh, it's really happening. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yes. Man. Very cool and a lot of good energy. Um, and uh, I think there's a lot of excitement in the room, and it's really it's really uh, just a, a vibrating field of high consciousness right now. So it's very cool. So what? Yeah. Can you say a few words about the raw food concept and why people why we're doing this with raw vegan ingredients? Well, what we're looking at here is organic, uh, vegan, live. Um, 
And so organic as a foundation um, in the sense of, you know, the highest quality ingredients, uh, foods that are pure, natural, um, looking at a vegan, a vegan based diet, uh, no animal products. Um, so we're looking at uh, the sort of energetics of ahimsa. So, ahimsa, ahimsa, yeah, so which is non-harming. Exactly. So what, what we're really feeling here is that and, and seeing and, and creating is, is that energetic. And, um, you know, there's, so there's a lot of uh, sort of reasonings, for example, uh, of people moving into live foods and healthy living. Um, but really, uh, I've seen, you know, if we look at, okay, we have physical, uh, physical sort of uh, reasons, we have spiritual reasons, and we have uh, sort of uh, environmental reasons. You know, those are kind of like the three main uh, pathways to a, a vegan lifestyle. And I'm, I'm noticing more and more that really the spiritual uh, sort of understandings and connectedness uh, of moving in towards a vegan diet is something that uh, it seems we all connect with. Is the spiritual aspects okay? So it's like okay. Well, what's the point of all of this? And it's like okay. Well, loving kindness, thinking and caring for others, you know, um, that sort of energetic of, um, you know, seeing our unity and our oneness with our, our environment and our, you know, our the animals and the plants and the whole earth. So uh, a vegan diet is a is a diet of compassion, is what we're looking at, and and that's really kind of. Uh, the foundation, in a way, in a sense. So I like that. A diet yeah. of compassion. The raw vegan diet at the raw food prep off. <laughs> okay. What's that? You want me to? I don't. I'm totally waiting for blender. I don't really want to interrupt these two because they've only got a few minutes left, yeah, but so it's so tempting to, yes. to <laughs> see <laughs> into the picture. What, like yeah. what are you doing? How is this? Uh, is this fun? This is the love boat. This is the love boat, and we're making this, and we're going to freeze it, so we're going to take it to... Um, to Giuliano's. To Giuliano's, and, and yes, we're going to, we're going to sell this to Giuliano's. I know she would. It's yes. going to go frozen. And he's paying top price. He's paying top price for no, this. Yes. yes. <laughs> She's referring to Giuliano's Raw, which is a restaurant in Los Angeles, which is one of the very few raw vegan restaurants in the world. He was one of the original raw vegan chefs that has a book called um, Uncooked. And this is our raw bliss uh, pudding. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah, well, I better let you get you back to work. We have to get yes. back to work. Thank yes. you. <laughs> well, Fan Susie here, he might be a little tired because he spontaneously like ripped off most of his clothes, I understand, except for a very small pair of shorts and decided to join the triathlon at the very last minute. So this is one of the finishers in the Raw Games triathlon. Did you win? We're all winners. We're that's, all winners. <laughs> that's the beauty over here. That's We're true. all winners. Well, that's the spirit of the Raw Games. That's right. And I like that, you know. I'm learning a lot over here, and that is that we all support each other to do the best that we can, and that is radical. It is radical in this day and age because we're usually competitive, and that means pushing the other person down. No, not here. We push each other up. We yes. pull each other up, you know? Yes, raise each other up. Yes, yes, I. yes. Well, your music talks about that a lot and connecting with Source. Fantuzin is an amazing musician. He's also one of our MCs. That's right. I've been doing music for these type of events, more or less, for a few years. For just a few years. And I'm really, really happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're me so here. welcome. The Raw Hello. Games rock, and if you get a chance, <laughs> don't miss it. Hi. Hi. Ten, Hi. nine, Hi. eight, seven.